Welcome back to another video guys. In today's video, I want to go over some tips for high ping players because this is a problem that I've seen very commonly, especially in this recent summer. A lot of new players are going to be playing and competing in the tournaments this summer. And a lot of the people, especially on NA, are going to be playing from the coastlines on the new NA Central server that they added recently a couple years ago. Because of this, a lot of people are going to be having to deal with higher amounts of ping. Some people are going to be playing with up to 40 and 50, especially in the United States. And in today's video, I want to go over some tips for those people. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video so that you guys don't miss any important information, let's get right into it. So to start off, a really genuine tip, this is going to be me being honest with you guys. The first thing is truthfully to just try and get ethernet if you can, and also try to close any other tabs on your computer which are going to be using network bandwidth. This is going to be some tips for you guys to try and lower your ping as much as you can with your current at home setup. I know for some people having ethernet is going to be somewhat of a problem and also having low bandwidth is going to be a problem with especially if there's a lot of users on your Wi-Fi or your internet network. Basically what this is going to be trying to do is lower your ping so that you guys are going to have the best scenario possible where you have the lowest ping possible on your server that you guys are playing tournaments on. And another tip is for you guys to apply some settings and I want to show you those right now. All right guys, so I just quickly want to show you three different tips that are going to be very valuable for your success success on high ping. As you guys can see right now, I am on around 40 to 50 ping. This is going to be my average NA central ping. It's going to be pretty high compared to my normal NA use ping, which is going to be around 10 to 15, whereas this is going to be around 40 to 50. Now, if you guys are on this high ping, the biggest thing I could recommend to you guys is to have edit on release on. If you guys don't know edit on release, basically what it is, let's say I have this stair right here. I can click the edit button. I can select the edit tiles with my finger still on. And as soon as I remove it, the edit confirms. And basically the point of that is it's going to help your edits become a lot more fluid and a lot faster. If I have that setting off, so I'm gonna turn it off really quick. If I have that setting off right here, this is a click, none. If I have that setting off, basically what that's going to do is it's going to have to make me select the edit by clicking F, then select the tiles by dragging across, and then I can let go, but then I'm gonna to have to click confirm. Now that's going to be causing input delay in three different areas, the selection, the selection of tiles, and then the confirming of the edit. So, you know, some people like to have it on because they think that it helps them move around better. Like, you know, you can move around better like this and then confirm it and jump. However, if you're on high ping, I really wouldn't recommend it. If you're on lower ping, I can see where it would be useful. However, if you're on high ping, don't use edit on release. Keep edit on release on. Another tip is going to be a setting I'd recommend you guys keep on. If you go to your video settings and scroll all the way down, it's going to say NVIDIA reflex low latency. I'd recommend you keep this on and then plus boost as well. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, this is going to decrease your input delay and make sure that you guys are able to do stuff a lot quicker. Now guys, another crucial tip is going to practice different types of wall takes, focusing on wall timing, and also focusing on timing your edits right after you get the wall. So the first thing to do is to practice your actual wall take timing. Clicks actually made a video a couple of years ago, back in 2019, the early competitive Fortnite days, explaining exactly how to take a wall and how to do it in the most effective and quick way possible. This is going to be a really old video, however, it's still really effective and applicable today. So I'd recommend you guys go watch it. I'm going to link it in the description. And on top of timing your wall taking perfectly, you also need to time the edits after you guys take these walls perfectly. Basically what that can mean is once you take a wall, you need to have the muscle memory to practice instantly editing it in the way that you want to. That's going to be crucial for a lot of players because what you have to do is focus on the idea of editing the wall instantly because that's going to decrease the amount of time in between your taking the wall, editing, and shooting your weapon. Basically what you're trying to do by practicing these different wall takes is trying to minimize the amount of time in between you getting a wall and you shooting the opponent. Also, the next one is not really going to be a tip. It's kind of just something that you guys should do. If you guys are in a box at any point, don't hold walls. So don't try to battle for holding the wall. And if you have to, if you absolutely have to, then I recommend you guys keep two layers in between you. So that means that there's going to be two layers right here. So for example, the wall is one and then the stairs one as well. I'd recommend you guys keep those two layers in between you because that's what's going to protect you from somebody trying to get an offensive advantage on you. You're able to escape out if they do take your wall. Now, once again, don't hold walls. So if you're in a situation where you're like this or something, either edit the cone up and put two layers between you or just don't hold walls and try to escape either out back or you guys can go out to the you know back area instead of the side. Definitely try not to go out side because somebody can cone and floor you right here. I'd recommend you guys go either out back or another really good fail safe is go up but go this way. So you, you're trying to not get peace control, not get outplayed and the way to do that on high ping is to not hold walls and if you do have to hold a wall be sure to have two layers in between you for example this wall and then this cone right here. And then the last thing is definitely going to be to try taking walls with weapons. I'm going to show you that in game right now. So guys, another tip right here is going to be the simple fact that I'd recommend you guys try to take walls with your weapons. So you're going to be damaging the wall with your weapons rather than damaging them with your pickaxe. Because in 
in general, your weapons are going to have lower input delay and lower latency than your pickaxe does. Your pickaxe has an animation to go through and it tends to damage the wall a little bit later when you guys are on higher ping. So what I'd recommend you guys do is get the wall really low with your pickaxe maybe. Maybe you can even shoot it down with these weapons right here. And then just try to take it by shooting and then replacing the wall because two things that does is that the first thing is it's going to catch your opponent off guard. They're expecting you to pickaxe their wall because they don't know what ping you're on. They don't know your strategies. So they're expecting you to pickaxe the wall. And if you shoot with their weapon, then that's generally going to help you guys get the surprise advantage onto your opponent. And the second thing is that, like I said, weapons are going to tend to have lower input delay because all you have to do is click the button to damage the wall. And then what you guys can easily do is you can just take it right off the rip. And what you guys can do with that, it's going to decrease your input delay, decrease the effects of high ping wall taking. Maybe you're able to win some wall fights wall 1v1s a lot more that can be really helpful so that's a crucial tip i'd recommend to all of you guys now another tip guys is definitely going to be prioritize playing on your high ping servers this is going to be very applicable especially for players on na on na there's obviously going to be na east and na west that you guys can play public matches and ranked on however i'd recommend that you guys play on na central because all of the tournaments the cash cups the fncs all the tournaments are going to be taking place on NA Central. So try to play on NA Central as much as possible because that's truthfully going to give you guys the best ability to get used to the high ping and used to playing on it. And of course, guys, another really important tip is to practice your other mechanics. Stuff such as aim and movement are crucial. Aim, you guys could easily practice it using Kovac. You could practice it using Skavix in-game. Other aim trainers are great as well. Clix has a great aim trainer. Mongrel also has one. If you guys are practicing your aim in-game, it's really going to help you guys get used to the ping, used to aiming with the ping, used to the input delay of you guys actually shooting somebody in it and registering as a hit onto them. Having higher ping tends to make that have more latency in between, so you guys definitely need to practice mechanics like your aim using maps like those. And of course your movement as well. Since you guys are not going to be able to really focus on improving your ping for your building and editing, movement is a crucial mechanic as well. And focusing on moving around, making sure you don't get hit, being able to win those box fights and those 1v1s in-game with good movement, that's stuff that's going to be crucial. In order to get good movement, I recommend you guys practice that by doing movement courses, maybe playing some realistic 1v1s, and also genuinely just focusing on playing the game and focusing on good movement right hand and peaks understanding the fundamentals of movement in the game. This stuff is going to be absolutely crucial to your success. So if you practice your aim and your movement, those two things are really going to assist in you guys having good play styles on high ping. And the final tip guys, genuinely just try to watch some players who used to play on high ping, who used to be very good. For examples of those used to be Kiriachi when he was playing on high ping from Russia. Also Nanolite who has since retired. You guys can go back and watch his old gameplay, watch how he played. He would play on around 30 to 40 ping all the way across the United States. It's a crucial aspect of how you guys learn. You guys need to learn from the pro players that did it before you. If you guys want to go back and watch Scrubs, he was the player that hit this absolutely insane clip. He's a really good high ping player that you guys used to be able to watch. Obviously, not all these players play Fortnite anymore, but some of them did really well when they were here. So be sure to watch them and check out exactly how they played and how they succeeded. Anyways, guys, that is the video on exactly how to master playing on high ping and the, all these tips you guys are going to have, how to take them into consideration, how to apply them to your game. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If if you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel down below, but I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.